Planning a waypoint flight from home? Welcome back to DK for Drones. Today I'm going to be checking out the waypoint feature on the new DJI Air 3 using my RC2 controller to plan out a waypoint flight here at home. It's an area I'm familiar with and fly quite often. I'll plan it out on my controller map and show you some of that in the next clip. After that we can go out to this location and let the Air 3 fly the planned waypoint flight to see how well it follows the plan. Let me mention here that if you're not familiar with the area you're going to be flying in, I would do your waypoint flight plan at the area or location just to be on the safe side. I'll see you on the next clip. Now we're going to start planning my waypoint on the controller map. As you can see it's up and it's going here. First thing you want to do you'll have to hit the waypoint icon and that'll bring this up. Hit these three little dots over here and this brings you up to your global settings basically. The global speed I'm going to increase that to about 16 miles an hour or something like that. I'll use that camera my wide angle one to three but you can also use your telephoto 3 to 9. Return to home, end of flight. That's what I want it to do. If I lose my signal, I want it to return to home. And I want my starting point at 1, but you could have it start wherever you want. Hit the back arrow. And now I'm going to start my waypoint. So I'm just going to touch the screen right about there, I think. I'm going to bring this up just a little bit so I got a little better idea. I'm going to bring that. You can move these waypoints if I can get a hold of it. And I'm going to bring it, oh, come on, I just went there, there we go. Okay, that's where I want to start. The action for the camera, I'm going to have it start recording. I want my altitude fairly low, so I'm going to bring it way down to like, uh, probably around there, 16 feet, that looks good. I'm going to have it at the global speed, which is at 16 miles an hour or so course heading or follow course heading i'm going to change that so you click here you do custom oh the wrong way i want to go that way there i think i'm going to have it go probably about like that gimbal tilt actually i'm going to start this one looking at the ground so i'm going to have that tilt and maybe not quite 90 but pretty close to it So 60 degrees down, and then manual zoom, and no hover speed. I won't let it hover. That's number one. Now I'm going to go two. I'm going to put two right up over here. And I'm going to move that a little bit, I think, if I can get a hold of it. Okay, two right there. Action, I'm going to have the camera do no action. I want my altitude to increase though to about 95 feet. Looks good. Global speed, I'm going to keep it the heading course. And I'm going to change that too. So we hit custom. You can manually do this if you want while it's flying. I'm just going to let it do everything there. I think that's pretty good. And gimbal tilt we're going to put that right at six and minus six there and no zoom i think you get the picture i'm going to fast forward through this part
Okay, now that you got all your waypoints set up and ready to go, go ahead and hit the waypoint icon again, and it'll ask you to save and exit. Do that. Now it's saved. Now you probably noticed that there is also a POI or point of interest button. I will talk you through that part next, and then we'll head out to the field and try these waypoint flight plans out. Go ahead and click on the waypoint icon again. We'll get our map up here. And we're going to put one like right here. Okay, there's one. We're going to put one over here, two, and one up here, three. And that's it. We'll just put those three in there. And as you can see, they're kind of following the course or doing whatever they want for the camera. We're going to go ahead and go into point of interest. And we're going to put that right there. So now we're going to click on the, on the one here for the POI. This comes up. And you can see it says 164 altitude. That is the AGL above the ground that it, that gimbal will be looking at. In my case, I want it to be pretty close to the ground, so I'm going to bring that down to about six feet is fine. If you're in front of a building or doing a tall structure or something, then you'd probably want that halfway up the structure or something so you get the whole thing in the shot. Now you see where it says linked waypoint none. We're going to click that, and we're going to select all. And you see all three of the camera views all are pointed towards the POI or point of interest. Okay, we're good there. That's what I want. Now, if we click on the waypoints, number one, the action, we want it to start recording. Global speed, we'll leave that where it's at. POI heading one and the POI gimbal tilt. You can change them, but it won't be. Then it's custom or manual. The heading is right now is face POI. The gimbal tilt is face POI, which is that six feet off the ground. Manual zoom will leave in zero seconds for hover. Okay, so that takes care of waypoint one. Again, I'm going to fast forward through this part. So the only thing left for me to do is to gather up the drone and head out to this site. Okay, it's time to see how well this Air 3 follows the waypoint plans that I entered on the controller from home. Let's get this drone up in the air and see how she does. I did shorten up the waypoint plans to save a little time on this side of the video. And with that, I will see you at the end of this part of the video for the wrap up and the overall results. We're ready to take off here. We have 23 satellites, everything's looking good. So now we'll hit this sideways S or this uh, waypoint icon as I call it. And I'll bring this up. Then we go over here to this tablet with writing on it or a piece of paper with writing on it. I don't know what else you call it. Now we have history and I saved these. You can name them whatever you want by editing the title. We're gonna go with this one right here. Okay, that drops in, we've got eight waypoints. Everything should be set to go here. So we're gonna go next. We're gonna click on go. Now it says, after start, aircraft will automatically take off and perform waypoint flight. Make sure surrounding area is safe. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and continue. And there it goes. Drone take will go off. ahead and take off all by itself. And we're gonna go in here now I'm going to squeeze this down a little bit so we can see what's going on. And now it's going over to its first waypoint. And the camera is not recording. I don't believe it isn't. It should start once it gets here. We're going to see if that works. And there it goes. The camera is going. So there we are. It's going to go up now to its waypoint 2. Where the gimbal will be at minus six. That's kind of what I wanted. Kind of a review. And now it's going to start turning the, the yaw. Because on waypoint three it's going to be pointing pretty much northwest for me. Now it's going to pause there for a second because I have it pausing. Now it's on its way to four. When it gets to four it should be down to 121 feet. 121 feet. Now it's going to waypoint five. 
and the gimbal's turning again and the altitude's going to be going up which it's doing now we're going to six now we're headed to seven we're going to drop in altitude a little bit down to 124 and there it's going to stop for a second again now it'll pick up again waypoint eight and that'll drop in altitude to about 78 feet 79 okay it did stop recording Return and, to home. and it's returning to home and let it fly in here and land looks like it did everything it was supposed to just as planned that's pretty amazing what these drones can do now i'm going to hit the sideways s or the waypoint icon now it's going to ask me to save it and i'm going to save it and exit okay we're going to hit the sideways s again or the waypoint icon and we're going to go into this tablet looking thing here to get my saved ones and this is the test with the poi or point of interest this one right here when you go into this point of interest you'll see this altitude that's the altitude that the gimbal is going to adjust for so if you're around a high structure or a tower or something then you probably want to set that up you know higher altitude my point of interest is pretty low so i'm going to bring it down to about like six feet so i'll just be barely be above the ground here we'll go back here and we're going to go next and we're going to go go and we're going to continue and let's see what it does the way it goes Take off. Home point updated. Let's shut it off. Let's see if it'll actually start there. It started. Now it should keep the point of interest pretty close to just six feet off of the ground. Two will be 130 some feet. Go over to three, which is 150 feet. Looks pretty close. No, it's going to pause for a second and then it's going to go to waypoint four. Now it's dropping in altitude and no pause there. It's going right to five and now it's going to take a picture. And it quit recording, but I think I can start recording again by going in here. And there, it's recording again. So you can manually change things up as far as the photos and video go. And there, we're done. Do one more. We're going to stop that. We're going to save that. We're going to click on there again. We're going to go here. We're going to go to the tablet. And we're gonna go with this one now this one I have the altitude set at 164 feet so this will be all sky but that'll kind of give you an idea of what's going on here so we're gonna go next we're gonna go there we're gonna go continue and away it goes take off Well, I kind of went up a little higher. This is a little bit different. It's headed out to the waypoint one. It's got my point of interest. And it's recording, but as you can see, because I, I'm down at 29 feet, this next waypoint two should be straight at uh, like 165 feet above the point of interest. See what the gimbal's showing. It should be almost zero, which it is. I don't know if you can read that or not. So, and then number three, still 167 feet. It should be looking at everything 165 feet above the ground. Turn to home. Now it's coming to home. And we're done. I think that's all we need to do. Well, I can honestly say, after trying out these waypoint features, I'm quite impressed. It's amazing what this drone can do and how well these waypoint features work. My score for this drone keeps going up. I think for me it's a 9 or 9.5 at this point, but there's still more features to test, so stay tuned for that. And if you need more info on this feature, you can refer to the user's manual starting on page 39. I'll leave a link to the user's manual in the description below. That's it. Thanks for watching, and if you found some value in this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons, and leave me a comment. As always, be safe, fly safe, and have a great day.
in the descriptions below. In the description below. Descriptions.